Hey everybody, Chuck here for Chuck's Choices. I was just notified today by email from Keurig that they're discontinuing the View coffee pods uh, like this one right here. And so what are we to do? Well, I have an inexpensive alternative coming up in the video. Hey everybody, Chuck here for Chuck's Choices with another of my What's in the Box Wednesday product reviews. And today we're talking about the K2V Cup Adapter. I was just notified by email this morning that they are that Keurig is discontinuing my Coffee View uh, pods for the View machine. Okay, so now what am I going to do? So. We had already kind of seen this coming. The handwriting was on the wall. So the K-Cups, you can find the K-Cups everywhere, okay? I actually had gotten to the point where I was having to order the, uh, the View Cups directly from Keurig because most stores were not carrying them anymore or I couldn't find anything local that was a uh, local store that was carrying them. So, uh, so anyway, we knew it was, it was coming. It just happened quicker than we thought. But anyway, this is perfect timing. This is the K2V cup adapter okay this will allow me to use the k-cups in my view coffee maker just like you know so we can keep going because it's a nice coffee maker we like it and everything there's no need to get rid of it if we can still use it so anyway that's what we're going to be talking about today okay so we're going to open this up and uh it's going to be real short today because there's not a lot to it that's the little coffee um I guess you'd, it's the little screen filter and everything, like if you're going to use loose grounds and everything, you just put that aside because we don't, we don't get into grinding our own coffee. Maybe one day we will, but not right now. And uh, let me just push this thing out. Okay, this is what we're, what we're mainly concerned with here is this is the adapter, okay? And I don't know if you can see it, but there is a, a needle or not a it's a hollow uh, I guess you'd call it a needle but a hollow needle at the bottom don't stick your finger down there it's very sharp uh, okay so anyway what you do is it's real easy you take the k-cup and one of the things I noticed in some of the reviews that people gave for this particular for the the k2v cup adapter was that they said it, it broke their machine and they couldn't get it open and stuff like that Couple things you have to do. You have to make sure that you press this in all the way down. You hear it snap there, okay? You've just punctured the bottom, that, that needle, that hollow needle just punctured the bottom of the K-cup, okay? But you notice that it's, it's flush with the top. Then the second thing you have to do, open this up like you normally would and put this in. If you just drop it in, you're probably gonna break the machine. You actually have to physically press this so that it is perfectly flush with the little seat there that it normally sits in. So anyway, now we're ready to go. All right, and um, we'll set this for 12 ounces, which is what we normally do. Now our travel mug here, I had to set this on a cookbook because the Keurig itself was not big enough. This thing supposedly will do up to 18 ounces. I guess they want you to use a, a me big measuring cup or something because you can't get an 18 ounce travel mug under there. But anyway, this one is a 12 ounce travel mug. Um, actually, that's 16 ounce. I'm sorry, that's a 16 ounce travel mug. So I'm gonna set it for 12 ounces of coffee and push the button. One time I did that and I forgot to put the, the travel mug under there. Don't recommend doing that, it's a big mess. But basically, the one thing I've noticed is it's a little slower than it was using the, uh, the view cups and everything. I, I guess because it's I'm not really sure. I don't know why. But uh, it, anyway, it takes a little bit longer, but it still will make the 12 ounces just like it has in the past. And uh, yeah, it smells real good and everything. This is my wife's coffee. I, as y'all know from my, from my uh, Chameleon cold brew uh, video and everything, I like cold brew coffees, but my wife likes the, the hot coffees and everything and she's really pleased with this uh with this particular particular brand okay the green mountain but another thing too is that with the k-cups there's a better from what i've seen there is a larger uh variety of coffees that you can get so this is really good so like i say probably takes about an extra 15 20 seconds than it did before so that's no big deal and everything so we're going to make sure that it's almost done 
and I'll just go ahead and put that off and there you go. I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but the coffee's in there, smells good. And that is the easiest way to, and you know, there's no sense in having to go out and buy a brand new coffee maker when we can still use the view with the K-Cups. And like I say, the K-Cups are available everywhere. So anyway, that's it. Like I say, short and sweet today, but uh, that is a cheap, in, well, inexpensive alternative. I'll put the link in the description and everything for, uh, I got this off of Amazon and uh, you know, everything that we use, we'll, we'll put in the links and the K cups and everything. But like I say, it is the K2V cup adapter. Okay, single serve coffee adapter is what it says. But, nice. it, but anyway, so it looks like it's gonna work great. And one other thing, uh, let me tell you, when you open this back up, this is very hot. Okay, if you pull this out, you just grab it by the edges and pull it out. Do not grab the bait, the don't grab below this little edge because it's very hot to the touch. So just set that aside, let that cool before you try to remove the uh, the K cup out of the, the coffee adapter. So, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching the video today. This is Chuck for Chuck's Choices. Remember to hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Also, give me some ideas of other products that you would like to have me review, and I will do that. So this is Chuck for Chuck's Choices, my What's in the Box Wednesday product review series. Y'all go out and make it a fantastic day, and I'll post something soon. Bye.